the process of photosynthesis and cellular respiration. A video study guide lesson brought to you by gedstudyguide.org. All living things require energy to live. How we get that energy depends on what we are. Energy allows for simple functions like growth and reproduction to occur. Photosynthesis is the process plants and algae go through in order to use energy for making food. Or in other words, it is the process through which light energy is converted into chemical energy. Let's get started from the beginning. Ready? Sunlight casts rays onto plants and algae. Plants are made of cells, and inside these cells are chloroplasts. Chloroplasts contain chlorophyll. Chlorophyll contains a green pigment which makes the plants green and is responsible for absorbing energy from sunlight. Plants get carbon dioxide, CO2, from the air. And plants get water, H2O, from the soil. The water, H2O, and the oxygen, O2, go through a series of chemical reactions in the chloroplast. As a result, oxygen and glucose are produced from the reaction. And plants store glucose for energy along with other carbohydrates. Then they cast off oxygen for humans and animals to inhale. So what does this mean? Well, this means that carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of light energy yields glucose plus oxygen. Now, when plant cells need energy, carbohydrates are broken down in a process known as cellular respiration. In this process, oxygen reacts with glucose to yield carbon dioxide, water, and energy. So what does this mean? Well, this means that glucose plus oxygen yields carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Because of photosynthesis and cellular respiration, oxygen and carbon dioxide are balanced in the atmosphere. For more information about the GED, check out gedstudyguide.org. Click the link below to subscribe.